Over the past three years, cases for Lyme disease have been growing in the northeastern part of the United States, concentrated mostly in Pennsylvania. Statistics from Center for Disease Control and Prevention show more than 5,000 cases in the past three years, higher than any other infectious diseases such as HIV and all forms of hepatitis combined in the state. Residents in northeast Philly have witnessed the alarming growth of ticks due to the growing deer population within the parks. We always have to be careful because of these ticks out here. And uh, we have a lot of deer, a lot of deer run through here. And um, me, myself, I come well covered up. Um, and you spray myself before I get out here too because you never know when they're going to get you. But I know a few people that had them and they got very ill. So you very have, you really have to be careful with the ticks that are out here in the park. Director of Natural Resources for Philadelphia Parks and Recreation, Tom Whitmer, said parks in the Northeast, such as Pennypack and Pequessing, have residential areas surrounding them where it is easy for people to catch Lyme disease. Refugia, you're talking about these protected areas. There's, there's no predators, there's no hunting allowed, and so the, the numbers are able to, to escalate quickly. And these are edge-type habitats that deer love, and they roam around a lot. Holmesburg resident Bob Biederman enjoys walking his dog and fishing in Pennypack Park, so he wasn't surprised when he caught Lyme disease. I, I woke up the one morning and my arm was sore, and I looked at it and I knew it was a deer tick right away because I had read a lot of pamphlets on it and things like that, and I went right to the doctor's. Right there, that's where it showed up. The tick, I pulled the tick out, and then I, and it was red, raw, real red right there, and I knew when I pulled the tick out, I knew. Because of the short winter, Biederman thinks more people will be infected this year due to the humidity, and there will be more cases of Lyme disease in the area. Well, right now, they say it's going to be worse this year than any other year because of the, the, uh, the weather we had. Because of this warm weather and stuff like that, and we didn't really have any deep uh, frost, you know, really good frost to kill off a lot of them. And they said there's going to be a lot more uh, ticks around this year than there have been the years before. So, um, People do really use the park at their own risk, but you know, can take the normal precautions of using light colored clothing and using uh, tick repellents, but really the best precautions to check yourself if you're going to be in the woods afterwards. But the ticks are the most dangerous. I would say stay out of the park unless you're wearing well clothes. Well, like a jogging suit or socks on your feet, which I forgot my socks today. But it's all right because I'm covered. I'm well covered. I'm sprayed, so I'm sprayed. Matt Flowers, Philadelphia Neighborhoods, Northeast Philadelphia.